The newest update in Backpack Battles adds a few needed changes to a few fan favorite items, and it also adds a whole new armor to the game. In this video, I'll be going over the nerfs and the buffs, and if the new armor is worth picking up. So a lot of the unique items got a buff with their gold cost, having them cost less gold. The Blood Harvester is now 11, the Pumpkin is now 9, Tim is now 11, and Jerry is now 8. The Moon Shield got a well-deserved nerf, however, not as big as I was expecting. The block needed to generate mana went from a 10 to a 12, which may not seem like a great change. However, I do suppose that that two difference really matters when you're having a lot of activations. The health potion got a surprise nerf going from 12 heal to an 11 heal. Belladoma's Whisperer got a nerd nerf. The threshold to generate poison is now nine instead of eight. The Dark Saber received a nerf and requires more stamina, which is now 1.2 instead of 1.0. The Mana Thirst got a nerf as well and a buff. The heal went from 12 to 10. However, it did gain plus one damage. The Platinum card received yet another buff. It's now 10% chance to see a unique versus 8%. The Fencing Fencing Rapier received a buff. Its cooldown decreased by 0.1 seconds, which is a very small change, but nevertheless, it did get buffed. And the following items have increased by one damage the crossbait, Excalibur, Pandanomium, and the Ruby Chunk got a plus two damage change. The Burning Coal got a buff for the armor and for the backpack slots. The armor went from a 12 to 15, and the backpack cleanse went from a two to a three. And lastly, the Holy Armor cost got buff going from 14 to 13, which is cool considering it's got a new combination. And that new combination is called the Corrupted Armor. Now to create the Corrupted Armor, you're going to need the Holy Armor and combine it with a Corrupted crystal which is pretty expensive that's a whole 20 gold the new armor gives more base armor which is now 70 along with having the ability to reflect debuffs back on your opponent every three seconds it deflects two debuffs it also has the ability to protect those debuffs from being removed increasing that by 10 percent every dark item that is on a star around the corrupted armor so i'm gonna be honest with you guys i've got no idea how to properly use this item so if you got any 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 insight at all please let me know. However, in my opinion from using it previously, its main use would be to combat against poison builds or even blind builds. With that being said, this pretty much means that the ranger has something against the reaper, in my opinion. However, that three second cooldown and because it only deflects two debuffs, I found it not to be very viable for fixing any debuff problems that you may have. However, with that being said, this item might not be intended for a primary use. Maybe it's not a make or break type of item. It could just be one of those items that you just use in any of your builds that could just in general help out a build just like the cap of discomfort. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know how you use this item so I can learn a little bit and I will see you guys on the next video.